Alright YouTube, what's up? My name's Eric Young. Sorry for the delay on this tutorial. Just haven't had much motivation to make it. Anyways, I've been meaning to remake this tutorial. It's so simple. You basically need to go around and shoot stuff with your camera and point it at the ground, sort of. I found that 35mm works best. I use a Canon T3, not even a T3i, just a T3. And yeah, let's get started. So there I have one tracked with the T3. This is shot with the Canon Power Shot. So on the tracker I used a tripod pan since I used a tripod. And we can put stuff in here as well. But we'll start with this one first. Right click, track camera. So here it is tracked. Um, turn down the target size because it's kind of giant and we just want to find a spot where we need to put our first model I like to choose a lot of points and then create a new solid and camera now that solid will stay there Make a new solid, call it element, we'll start with the BB-8 model, put it on top of the solid layer, go back to scene setup, I forgot to do something, uh, right click BB-8 and do auxiliary animation channel 1. Now create a uh, group null for group 1 since BB-8 is in group 1. Now hit P on the solid. Copy the position. Paste it onto the BB-8 null. Now we're going to adjust BB-8 to fit the scene with the null. You can go into element, change the size of the model. And now he pretty much stays there. The beauty of this is we can now turn this solid black use the ellipse tool on it feather it and now you've created a little shadow underneath them and you can just parent that later now we want to go back to the footage select the camera tracker and scrub through the footage and find a, another spot where we want BB-8 to move to so we'll have them roll over here this time just create a solid. Now take the position of the BB-8 null, keyframe it, make sure to move the solid underneath the element layer, take that position, copy it, and then move forward, and then paste it onto the BB-8 null. Now I just did F9 there to use easy ease. We can actually delete that. Rename that to shadow layer, parent it to the BB-8. And now the shadow follows BB-8. But he's still not rolling. But that's in the auxiliary animation. So we'll go back to the element layer. Under auxiliary channel, we put him under channel 1. We'll go to rotation. I uh, did something wrong again. We don't want to put his whole body as the auxiliary animation. We want to put just the body as the auxiliary animation. Looks like they were already preset, I just messed it up. There, now only his body's rotating. Can hit U to show keyframes. And we're just going to have to guess how many times until it looks right. So I'm going to guess like two rolls. Probably going to be more than that. 
and to see it accurately we'll turn on motion blur under render settings motion blur on actually turn on motion 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 blur for the shadows as well oh I did two percent and he's rolling the wrong way I want to have him overroll just a little so he's not ending so properly Auxiliary animation 2 and rotate his head Copying that keyframe and pasting it. The way he turns and looks at the camera. So he's almost always breaking the fourth wall. Just for fun. Okay, another thing you're going to want to do is in the render settings, turn on ambient occlude. Add some shadows to the model. And then we're going to go to shadows. Enable shadows. Going to do a new light. We'll make this the parallel one. We kind of want to match the scene. That doesn't really look like the sun. That's better. Just trying to match where it's hitting. I'm moving the parallel light. Oh my god, I hate these fucking parallel lights. That's about right. Can also make a ambient light. Blue. Twenty-five percent. Make an adjustment layer. Just gonna throw a mojo on it and there you go and then from there it's really up to you what to add in and make um, yeah you can still mess with the render settings uh, try to change like simple things like the environment even match a parking lot and there it is. Thanks for watching this tutorial guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will include a link in the description for this uh, exact project. If you want to see more tutorials, please leave comments letting me know what you want to see. 